here we have a Google spreadsheet. What we wish to do is to create custom PDF reports based on the contents of this spreadsheet. We're going to do two types of reports. One which is based on several rows in the spreadsheet and one report which is based on a single row in this spreadsheet. We're going to start from our search form. There is another video describing how to set up a search form like this. Link to this video is in the description below. We execute a search. We search for instance in the state field FL for Florida. We get 29 hits. These hits correspond to the 29 rows in our spreadsheet which have FL in the state field. If we want to produce a PDF report based on this search result, we click the PDF button. And a PDF report has been generated here. This PDF report is called a short presentation report. And it's always based on a table where each row in this report corresponds to one row in our spreadsheet. If we want to create a PDF report based on a single row in our spreadsheet, we click this button. Here we have the full presentation or the long presentation. We click PDF. And a PDF report is generated. This report can be configured any way you want. Column data from the spreadsheet is inserted in several places in this report. For instance, first name and last name here are from these columns here. The PDF report templates are based on Google Docs documents. The short presentation report can look like this. A, B, H and I are references to the columns in the spreadsheet. The number of rows in this table will vary depending on the number of hits in our search result. The long presentation template can look like this. A, B, D and E are references to the columns in our spreadsheet. And these curly brackets will be replaced with what's in these columns when the PDF report is generated. Since we have an account, we can look in the administration to see how this is set up. We click settings. Here we need to submit the unique IDs for these Google Doc templates. The unique ID can be found in the URL to these documents. This part here is the unique ID. And one last thing you need to do is to add the PDF button in your templates. Like this.